this year, I'm trying to do things a little differently and I'm cutting down on the time that it takes to cook my turkey, so I have time to use the oven for other things. I'm doing a spatchcock turkey, so I'm gonna have my butcher take the backbone out of the turkey. It won't have that like wow factor of going to the table as a whole, but at the end of the day, most of us end up cutting our turkey before it ever hits the table. I do a little dry brine the night before. Very simple. Red pepper flakes, truffle salt, regular salt, and thyme. It's very fall-like and very warming and very earthy. So I'm cutting some vegetables for my turkey, and I have a 12-pound turkey here. What I want to do is take the vegetables, tuck them underneath the turkey like this, and the vegetables kind of just add a moisture, they add flavor, they're just flavoring agents, basically. So we add three celery sticks, and we add two carrots. Put some onions. And then I'm just gonna take two sprigs of rosemary, and a little bit of thyme, just extra thyme, and you put it all underneath. I'm using two tablespoons of olive oil and two tablespoons of truffle butter. Now, the truffle butter, like the truffle salt, adds a lot of decadence and flavor. If you don't like truffle butter, you could just use regular butter. And if you don't like truffle salt, you could use any other kind of flavored salt. <sighs> I love it. Truffles are mushrooms, so they just have this wonderful, warming, comforting, smell to them, they're very rich, which I think adds a lot of flavor to the turkey, especially since turkey, like chicken, can sometimes need extra flavor. And just brush the truffle butter all over the turkey. And we're gonna pop this in a 450 degree oven for an hour and a half, and then it's gonna be done, crispy and moist inside.